Welcome to the fourth video in a seven part series on boosting your confidence. Yesterday we spoke a little bit about self-talk, but I feel like it's so important that I want to make its own video just on this. It's so powerful. A lot of people might hear the term self-talk and think to themselves, oh, that's just way too woo-woo for me, or maybe it's just dumb in their eyes. Now the thing is, self-talk is actually just the thoughts in your mind. And this thoughts in your mind aren't actually yours. There's sometimes other people's thoughts, there's just passing thoughts, there's a lot of different ways that these things can form in your head. Saying I isn't actually who you are. So I say there's me, myself, and I, and the I at the thoughts think go frick themselves, right? They're not actually you, so they're subjective parts. It's a subjective self where you have me, which is the objective self, me right and then you have myself which is the reflexive form of you and these all compromise who you are your thoughts aren't you they're a subjective view of the world and yourself and so on and your subjective or learned patterns they're not necessarily that makes you up it's like a processing brain and driver but aren't actually you so identifying that this self-talk is something that can be controlled and cleaned up and managed deliberately. Now our negative self-talk can take over everything. It's a conversation that we're having with ourselves and it can really sabotage everything that you're doing. A lot of self-sabotage comes from this negative believing such as oh, you're not good enough or why bother or you know, oh, you've done this this far, it was so easy, why don't you just destroy it instead of keeping something going? A lot of this stuff is this it's like the devil on the shoulder type of deal saying like, hey, you suck. And it's not actually your voice. It's not actually your true belief in yourself. It's this passing thing. So one of the things you can do is invert the thinking or at least a type of inversion. So if that devil on your shoulder is saying, hey, this is terrible, you're not doing a good job, you would tell yourself an inverted version of that. So, hey, you're doing really good. This is so awesome. And a lot of times, these thoughts, they just fly to the wind. They don't actually permeate and make you feel better. So a lot of times, I personally like to dial it back and be like, hey, you know, you're working really hard. The effort is really going into it. You're making progress. Instead of just completely saying, okay, you know, maybe I can't fight that voice. It's so loud. It's so ingrained. And it's somebody else's voice that's just been in there since I've been a kid. And it's really hard to make it go away just by saying the opposite. So I'll just say something that's on the opposite end that I do believe, that I can believe. And that's one of the first ways that I kind of lay my position in my head. The second thing I can do is I try to find external sources that support my thinking, the positive thinking. I find an echo chamber of positivity. And these can be good movies or whatever my inspiration was for my art. And be like, oh, that, was, that is awesome. I do love that. I look to the people that I admire and I go, oh, yeah, yeah, I really do like that. You know, it reassures where my inspiration and my drive is for who I am and what I'm doing. Another thing I feel like is a big one is music. There's so much music out there and it's really good, but a lot of it has to do with a negative emotion, a heartbreak, a heartache, and there's just not that much love or positivity in the music. It's just so negative. If you really think about most lyrics and most pop songs, they're about like a lost love, somebody doing them wrong, everybody's a victim. And this is not good for your mind. I recommend switching to like lyric less music or you know something that's really happy like country country is always about love now i get it not it's not for everybody and it wasn't for me but i changed over because i'm like this is happy this is positive it, it's so good it feels good and i swear to you that it has a major contributor to my happiness because i'm passively getting these positive emotions and feelings thrown in my brain whenever i'm on a road trip or whatever you know and it's just that happy major chords and happy music. I'm not saying that's for everybody, of course. I'm just giving you this as an example. Same with movies. I don't really watch horror movies anymore. I don't need that negative imagery in my head. It's just trying to lean towards things that are positive, happy, even if they're fake. That imaginary happiness can permeate and make a really, really nice space in my head. You've got to think about what would happen if there was an inversion. If you were took a baby 
and you just fed it horror movies and told it it was terrible and played really negative music to it all the time, you could kind of have an idea of what that baby, that kid's gonna grow up to be like, versus another one with a loving household, parents, positive videos, all that crap, right? Garbage in, garbage out. Positive, healthy things in, being a healthy person will come out. So lastly, I just wanted to mention again that I am offering private mentorship for anybody who's looking to level up, get out of the rut, get out of depression, and build their confidence. It's a private mentorship, just you and me. If that interests you, then click the link below. We'll get talking. Hopefully we're fit. Till next time, cheers.